Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Sophie and I would love it if you click that big red subscribe button down below. I talk about languages and language learning a lot, I make travel videos and I'm also currently studying abroad in Lyon in France so I make a lot of videos about that too. So if you like the sound of any of those types of videos then definitely make sure to click that big red subscribe button down below and turn on that notification bell as well so that you never miss one of my videos. So today's video is a very exciting one because I'm going to be trying a bunch of different French snacks. So I've got a bag here full of just French snacks um, that I've brought. Um, some of them were recommended to me by um, members of my flat um, because I did message in our flight group chat asking if anyone could recommend different French snacks for me to try because I wanted to try some snacks that were like popular um, as well and well known but I couldn't find all of the snacks that they recommended and also some of the snacks that they recommended we actually have in the UK and like one of my flatmates recommended that I buy some cereal bars and I was like well what cereal bars because they have cereal bars all over the world, I'm pretty sure zero bells are a worldwide thing, but what ones? And like, he also re recommended baby bells, but we have those in the UK as well. And like, I haven't bought any chocolate because when I was walking down the chocolate aisle, it was basically all just milk and lint, and we have milk and lint in the UK as well. But I found like some different flavored crisps and some different biscuits and stuff, and managed to get some of the stuff that they recommended. Um, I haven't got loads of snacks not gonna lie i mean i've got a bag full but i mean i've spent more money on just this small bag like this bag full of snacks than i'm definitely gonna make in adsense for this video and i am a broke student and also like groceries here in france are more expensive than in the uk so obviously like i didn't want to spend a ton of money on like snacks because i don't know if i'm gonna like them all but um yeah um but yeah anyway i'm rambling on i think i'm gonna start with the savory snacks and then move on to the sweet snacks um so first of all we'll try these these are called monster munch and we actually have monster munch in the uk but not these like it's the same name but it's completely different like monster munch over by walkers in the uk which is the same as lays but this Fico, I don't know what this brand Fico is, I'm guessing it's French and they also look completely different like these Monster Munch like I I'm wondering if that they're the same type of thing, if they're like a corn snack but like the shape and the monster's face, these like are completely different, I mean in the UK it's Monster's Claws, these are like little ghost faces and they look happy, they don't look very scary, they don't look very you know, monstrous, is that a word, monstrous? Um, but also these are ham and cheese flavour and I thought like that is something that we wouldn't have in the UK. Oh no, these are like completely different to the UK Monster so Munch. They're like, you know what these look like? Quavers. They look like quavers. If I'll show you. I don't know, I think they look like quavers. Like the size of them. What do they smell like? Okay, they smell cheesy and kind of hammy, which is, I mean, good because they're cheese and ham flavor. They did also have um, ketchup flavour and a few other flavours as well oh um, salted ketchup and barbecue but I thought I'll get cheese and ham because as far as I'm aware there are no flavoured cheese and ham snacks in the UK at all and um, there's cheese snacks there's bacon snacks but not cheese and ham whereas like I'm pretty sure you can get like ketchup flavoured pom bears and stuff and barbecue flavoured crisps in the UK so we'll try this monster munch Yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not bad. I want to say that's my favorite snack and I definitely prefer the Monster Munch we have in the UK. But these are good, I would eat these. And I'm sure I would eat the other flavors as well. But yeah, those, those are good. I recommend those, but if you go to the UK, I recommend you get British Monster Munch because they're even better 
they have pickled onion flavor flaming hot and roast beef and they're like they're also good um but for my favorite are the flaming hot but they're just also good better than these so next i've got these cheeseburger lays to try and obviously lays we have lays in the uk they're just a different name they're called walkers but i mean the logo is exactly the same for some reason they're called lays in every other country in the world but in the uk they're called walkers but yeah we've obviously got walkers in the uk but we haven't got cheeseburger flavor and i did want to get some different like flavored crisps um and i've already tried mustard crisps so i didn't want to get those because i've already tried them they were kind of gross and i already tried bolognese crisps and again they're kind of weird um, so I feel like I was kind of left to try cheeseburger crisps and I feel like they could be quite nice. Cheeseburger could be quite nice. Hmm. Hmm. Those are good, but not gonna lie, now that I've tasted that, it tastes really similar to Walker's Crisp that I've had before. So now I'm wondering if, I'm wondering if I've actually had cheeseburger crisps before and they were one of those limited edition flavors. These are good, but they definitely taste familiar. So I definitely think I've had these before. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these next ones aren't an actual like brown. They're actually just mono pre um, snack fins. I don't know what these are. They're called Croustillant, Croustillant, um, Cou, Emmental, so they're Emmental cheese flavoured. Um, they did have another flavour as well. I think it said, um, was it Cachouette? I think that's what it said, something like that, which I think means peanuts. And I was like, peanut flavour crisp fins? To me, these look like knickknacks. Um, if you're not from the UK and don't know what knickknacks are, I'll put a picture of knickknacks here, but. <laughs> For me, these literally look like knickknacks, and I think I read something about them being made from, yeah. Broderie soufflé à base de mai goût emmental. So they're made from like corn, so, which I'm pretty sure knickknacks are as well. So, you know, maybe I was kind of cheating by picking these up because they look like knickknacks, but they were only like 85 cents, and like I said, I didn't want to spend loads of money, and I know I like knickknacks, but like, we don't have Emmental cheese flavour crisps in the UK or snacks. We have cheese flavour, but I feel like cheese in the UK, everything's cheddar. Whereas here in France, everything is like Emmental. Like, I like Emmental, but oh, I miss cheddar. But yeah, so I thought I'll get these ones as to be, you know, I did consider getting the peanut ones because, well, I think they were peanut. Because I was like, well, that's really different. But it was like, it also sounds kind of disgusting. Maybe I should have bought them just for the video. But I mean, I thought there was more chance of me liking these ones and I don't want to waste my money completely. But you know, if I make a part two to this video, maybe I'll go buy the peanut ones if you already want me to. But yeah, I'm gonna try these. I hope they taste like knickknacks. They look just like knickknacks. <laughs> look at them. They literally look just like knickknacks. They smell really cheesy as well. Like I was literally just, holding that at the camera, in front of the camera, like really far away from my face so that you could, um, so that you can all see it. And I just got a massive whiff of cheese or actually it's made because the bag is literally right under my nose. Maybe I actually got the whiff of cheese from that. But yeah, they smell really cheesy, which I mean is good because you know, they're cheese flavored. So yeah, let's, let's try them. They are. The cheesiest flavoured crisps I think I've ever had. I mean, okay, maybe not as cheesy as like Doritos tanny cheese, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel about these. They've got the texture and like the taste of knickknacks, except they're not knickknacks, are they? Because they're not nice and spicy or barbecue or scampi. The nice and spicy are my favourites. I love the nice and spicy knickknacks, but these are just. They're kind of weird. I mean, I don't hate them. But I don't really like them either. Maybe I should have bought the peanut ones after all. Maybe I would have actually preferred those. I might see if someone in my flat wants those because these, because 
I don't really like them that much. I mean, I might eat them, but because I don't like food waste, but I'm not buying these again. Okay, so now we've moved on to the sweet stuff, which is exciting because I have a sweet tooth and I'm sure many of you also maybe have a sweet tooth. I mean, who doesn't like sweet stuff? I mean, I know some people do prefer savory stuff, but I mean, ugh, I'll just, desserts and sweet stuff, it's just the best. Anyway, this, next thing that I want to try, I'm going to try, is actually something that my flatmates recommended. Finally, the crisps and snacks, the savoury stuff, that was all just random stuff that I found. But yeah, um, one of my flatmates, Pierre, um, actually recommended this um, to me. And um, to be honest, it kind of looks like street waffle, kind of. They look a bit like street waffle, except they're not. Like I'll show you, there's like, <laughs> It looks like two small thin waffles with something in between it, which is kind of like Stroop waffle, except the thing that's in between it isn't like Stroop waffle because Stroop is like, I guess kind of like this caramelly syrup stuff. I don't know what it's actually called. Like, I don't know what Stroop actually is, but it's, you know, it's a liquid. I mean, yeah, where this looks kind of powdery. So yeah, I don't know what this is. I mean, I'm guessing it's um, furé as these are goof fure and I know goof means goof I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right but I know that means waffles so I'm guessing these are fure waffles whatever fure are um but I'm hoping these taste nice because I mean I like I love stroop waffle so, oh, I miss stroop waffle so much um so I'm hoping these are kind of similar but I doubt they'll be as good because I'm not sure what this powdery stuff is going to be like, but yeah, I'm going to try these. Yeah, let's try these. Oh, oh, that smells so sweet. It smells so good. <laughs> Haven't even opened any of like the, the individual bags of waffles, but okay. How uh, many? Do you get two in each one, or is that just where they're stuck together? Because there's something in the middle of it. I don't know, but. I'm excited to try these. Oh yeah, you get two. It says five times two of these little packs. So yeah, I'm excited. It smells so sweet. Oh. Okay. These feel really like, I feel like really easy to break. Okay, so I'll show you them. Kind of see it's darker in the middle where you can see darker there where you can see there's like something inside it i'm gonna break it so we can see what's inside oh god okay so it's like oh wait i need to look at what is that oh it's not powdery i thought it looked like powdery when i was looking at the picture but that feels sticky to the touch um so i don't know if you can see oh i've got cramp in my leg the way i'm sitting Oh no, um, but yeah, so I don't know what that's going to be like. Let's try it. Mm. I mean, that's definitely very, very sweet. Mm -hmm. But I hate to say this, I prefer Stroop waffles. I'm sorry if you know you're French and you're watching this and you prefer these to street waffles or whatever but I prefer street waffle they're just nicer and it's the stuff in the middle I just don't like it as much I mean I don't hate these but like, like I will eat these I will finish those but I'm not gonna buy them again because I'd much rather just have street waffles. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to try, I'm not sure if it's, you know, really cheating because um, it's crepes and I mean, <laughs> I feel like everybody's tried crepes before and I have tried crepes before and also you can definitely buy like little pre-wrapped um, crepes like this in the UK. Um, but I don't think we can buy the caramel um salted but um salted buttered caramel ones in the uk i know we can buy like the little chocolate ones um and to be fair i weren't gonna buy these ones either because um 
my friend, uh, my flatmate, Pierre, he recommended that I get the crepe um, fure. I think that's what it's called. I think it's the same stuff that was in those waffles. He recommended to get those in a crepe. And when I was in Carrefour, like I could see a space where they were meant to be, but obviously they were sold out. So I just picked up these instead because I was like, well, I'm still trying crepes and I feel like crepes are such a like, you know, traditional French thing that everybody knows about. I feel like I had to pick some up and try them even though I know I'm gonna like them because I know I like crepes and I know I like salted car buttered caramel and I know I can buy chocolate versions of these in the UK. Um, but yeah, I just felt like I had to still. So I'm gonna try these and I know I'm gonna like these. Ooh. Wait, where's the caramel inside it? I can't see. Okay, there's the the crepe all rolled up nicely. Um, and there's like the middle. Scrunch it up for you. I can't. Oh, there's the caramel. I've squeezed it out. There you go. There's the salted butter caramel. <laughs> Mm. I love salted butter caramel. Mm. I'm gonna finish this before I try the next and final snack. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Okay, so the next and final thing that I've got to try again is something that wasn't actually on the list of stuff that um, I was recommended to try but yeah I got these because they look so cute I didn't go out there looking for these I just saw these they're so cute they're called petite coeur little hearts and um choco croque <laughs> so mignon ça um I recognise the brown blue. I know they're a brown of biscuits. And I found these in the biscuit aisle. Um, and it does say, you know, Lou, creator of biscuits since 1846. But I feel like they kind of look like Maltesers. So when I saw these in the biscuit aisle, I was like, what? Shouldn't these be in the chocolate aisle? But yeah, I don't think you get that many in here, but they were under two euro. So I was like, well, I'm gonna get these because pretty much all the other stuff in the biscuit aisle was a lot more expensive or they were biscuits that like we'd had already um, that we have in the UK or in other countries as well. Ooh. Oh, they're in a big bag. I wasn't expecting that. I don't feel like you get that much in the box for like one euro 50. I feel like in the UK, these would be like a pound at the most, not one euro fifty. I don't know. Let's try them though. They smell chocolatey, which is good. I mean, they should do. They've got chocolate on the outside. Do you know what these kind of smell like? Chocolate raisins from the pick and mix section in Wilkinson's. Just look like a little chocolate heart, just like they look like on the um, on the box. So yeah, I'm gonna try these. Mm. They're crunchy, but I won't call them a biscuit. I'm gonna um, break this one in half, just take a bite, so that you can see the um, the middle. Yeah, that's what they look like on the inside. So they do kind of look similar to a Malteser, but you know what these remind me of? Poppets. I'm pretty sure like you can get poppets with like malty stuff in the middle. Um, like crispy, yeah, they don't, they have toffee poppets. I remember having toffee poppets all the time as a kid, but I'm pretty sure at one stage they brought out crispy poppets and that's what it reminds me of. Or like crispy M&Ms, but without the shell. But more than anything, it reminds me of poppets. I used to love poppets, yeah. Definitely in the UK, I feel like these would be cheaper. But yeah, anyway, that was the last thing that I had to try for you all. 
Um, I hope you've all enjoyed just sitting here and watching me stuff my face with random French snacks. I mean, I've quite enjoyed eating, not gonna lie. <laughs> and I am going to go finish not all of these snacks now because I do not want to explode. Um, but I mean, if I leave these snacks open for too long, some of them are gonna go stout. So I'm gonna have to make my way through some of them but yeah anyway that's the end of this video um make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and hit that big red subscribe button down below um maybe i'll make more videos of me trying different snacks in the future i don't know um so yeah i'm rambling on um but hopefully i'll see you all in the next video bye